This is bad. I completely forgot the passcode on my iPhone. I can't get back in, but luckily for y'all, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get back access to an iPhone if you do not know the passcode. So maybe you've typed in the passcode too many times or it is telling you to wait a specific time. This video will show you how to bypass the iPhone lock screen. Let's get started. First thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and take your iPhone and you're going to want to plug it into your computer. I will leave a link down below to this website. It's called iMyPhone and they have an awesome software called iMyPhone Lock wiper and this will remove the passcode lock on your iphone and they also have a bunch of other helpful features so they have a version that's free for windows and of course if you have mac or anything like that they have a version for you as well it's a free download go ahead and check it out link will be in the description and once you do have it downloaded this is what it looks like when you open it up and you can see they have different uh features right here so if the iphone has an apple id on it and you need to get rid of it this software can do that. If you need to unlock the screen passcode, that's what we're gonna be doing. We can go ahead and take care of that. And of course, there's the screen time passcode. If you've ever forgotten that, which I have before, you can go ahead and bypass that as well. And if you have a device that's like with a school or something and they have an MDM mobile config on it, you can go ahead and bypass that. But in this video, we're gonna be removing the lock screen uh, passcode from the iPhone. So go ahead and click on that and it's going to say if you do get an error like this just click on repair and it's going to be doing some stuff with itunes because if you have a windows computer itunes can be a little iffy so it's going to do whatever it needs to do to make sure itunes is up to date and good to go so you can go ahead and make changes to your iphone so it says itunes repair successfully click on done and you can go ahead and reopen the software so whatever you want need to do we're going to be removing the iphone lock screen passcode we're going to click on this and it's gonna have a set of instructions. So first thing you're gonna need to do is, this is for if you forgot the iPhone passcode. So if your iPhone's been locked and it cannot be used again, this is for you. Now here's just a few warnings you need to know about. So using Lock Wiper, this software will erase the data on the iPhone. Your iPhone will be updated to the latest version. You wanna make sure your iPhone has enough power so it's charged. And on top of that, if you have Find My iPhone enabled, just know that you will need that Apple ID once you restart the device. So we're gonna go ahead and click on start and it's gonna tell you to connect your iDevice. So we're gonna take care of that. So I just connected my iPhone, go ahead and click on next. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the device in DFU mode. So when your iPhone's connected to your laptop, go ahead and what you're gonna do is press the volume up button, the volume down button, and then we're going to hold the power. But first, your device needs to be shut down. So I'm gonna shut down this device first, and we're gonna put it into DFU mode. So in order to do so, the device is shutting down, and I'm going to press the volume up once, down, and then hold the power button. And we're gonna keep holding until we see the cord and the Mac logo and that we're going to keep holding. So right now I'm still holding this button and that didn't work. So we're going to try again. So I kept having issues. What helped for me is you have to click it really fast, like one, two, and then hold. It's not click, click, and then hold. It's literally click, click, hold. Okay. So that's what I did to get this to actually work. Moving on to the next step. Here we get to choose um, the version of software we want to install. We're gonna wipe the iPhone. So we're gonna click on download and it's gonna download and verify the iPhone firmware before it proceeds to the next step. Make sure your iPhone is plugged in throughout this process. It says the iPhone firmware has been downloaded. We're gonna click on start and it's gonna say extracting the firmware. This can take some time. And of course you wanna make sure your iPhone is still plugged in throughout this process and I will be back once this finishes. Okay, it now says extraction completed. We're gonna click on unlock, and you wanna keep in mind, your iPhone should still be connected. So we're gonna click on unlock, and here's what's gonna happen. It's gonna say, using iMyPhone lock wiper to unlock the device will erase the data, so we need to enter this number to confirm that that's what we want to do. So we're going to unlock this iPhone, and it's gonna be removing the lock screen passcode on the iPhone. And it's gonna say, leave your iPhone connected. Um, otherwise you could have issues, it could be bricked. 
we don't want that so make sure it stays connected and this should take less than 10 minutes so let's continue and i'll be back when that's done during this process you are going to notice your iphone will be resetting and you'll have the little status bar so just keep that in mind and this should almost be finished all right so this is what it looks like when it says your iphone is complete um, the software is done loading it says your iphone should be unlocked and the Apple logo should change with the status bar to a simple Apple logo. So we're gonna go ahead and click on done. So you can see there is another status bar we have to wait for. This will be done shortly. I'll be back when that's done. You can now see that the iPhone has restarted. And of course we are at the setup process. You can see it's gonna say it may take a few minutes for your iPhone to activate. And this will be where it asks you for your Apple ID. The passcode is removed on this iPhone. I'm gonna speed this part up and show y'all it's unlocked. So once you do that, you can go ahead and just skip all of these other steps. I'm not gonna have a passcode on this device. Welcome to iPhone and boom, no passcode needed on this phone. Thank you for watching and as always, peace.